Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very rare thing that I ever come to speak to you, but I have a very important thing to tell you today. In 2005, for my own television show, I attended virtually every day of the Michael Jackson, Michael Joe Jackson trial put on in this county in San Maria. I didn't realize until it was over that I was the only person in the media that actually attended virtually every day of the trial because the national media was rotating in two-week shifts. What I witnessed in that was not simply that Michael Joe Jackson, the most famous person on the planet, and uh, presumably one of the wealthiest and, and best-known celebrities of our county, was actually the victim of multiple crimes during the trial. Not only was he not guilty, but the prosecutors, in fabricating evidence, actually committed crimes. And it would be hard for you to walk in and watch the trial for one day and to notice that. Because you had to watch it day in and day out, week after week. I have an affidavit of criminal conduct to present to you. And I have to present it to you because in our form of government, when one branch of government totally fails to do its job correctly, and that's what happened, the judicial branch correctly came to the conclusion that Michael Joe Jackson was totally and completely not guilty, not only of the 10 felonies originally charged by Thomas Snedden, but also of the lesser four misdemeanors they snuck in at the end, trying to beg the jury to give them some kind of victory. The three felonies that I observed firsthand and have firsthand knowledge are fingerprint evidence, fabrication. The magazine had not been printed till four, five, six months after the I'm war. I'm sorry, Mr. Wayne, your time is up. Thank you. I'll just give these to so you each have a copy. One for each of you. The felonies are listed there. And I hope you will ask for a special prosecutor. Thank you. You're welcome. 